So dairy cows get milk twice every day. But where does calving fit in? The cow? What sort of animal is it? Is it a bird? Is it a fish? Is it an amphibian? Is it a reptile? Is it an invertebrate? Is it a mammal? Which are humans? Well these are all animals. Each group has certain characteristics. Birds lay eggs for example. Humans and cows are in the same group, which is mammals. What is special about mammals? Mammals produce milk for their young, which means they must first have to have young before they produce this milk. So dairy cows must have a calf each year in order to produce milk for us to collect and use. A dairy cow's milk yield increases gradually after she has given birth, originally to suit her calf's need as it grows. Eventually in nature the calf, like you did when you were little, would start eating solids, in the cow's case grass. The offspring would eventually be weaned and would stop drinking milk so the mother would stop making it. This pattern still happens with a dairy cow. The amount of milk being produced each day eventually drops to an amount that is not economic for the farmer. To overcome this, the farmer makes sure that the dairy cow has a calf each year. So the dairy cow will be mated and become pregnant again while she is still being milked. The farmer will record this mating so he knows when the cow is due to have her next calf. Six or seven weeks before this she will stop being milked. This is called drying off and means because she has stopped being milked she will stop producing milk. She will be dry. This is just like what would happen in the wild when the calf is weaned. The dairy farmer does this to allow the cow a short time to recover before she has her next calf. The farmer will monitor the cow very closely when calving is imminent, assisting as necessary. Newborn calves are on their feet and suckling within a few minutes of being born. If we want the cow's milk, we must wean the calf, as Peter Birdus, a dairy farmer, explains. He had tags born on Sunday during the day. We kept her on her mother, mother till uh, Monday afternoon just before milking. I brought her in here. We milked the mother on the uh, Sunday morning for the first time. We tend to keep the colostrum off the mother and put it in two litre bottles and store it. Because the idea is to try and get at least four litres of colostrum into a calf as soon as you can after they're born. So we always make sure we have a ready supply. Then when this calf's coming to here, we keep it on colostrum that we take from the cow in the parlour that we aren't allowed to put in the tank and bring it over here and feed it. Generally on an individual feed for a start, something like that. Then at four days old we move on to powdered milk which we feed twice a day 
uh, mix with hot water to body temperature. And as they get used to feeding, generally skimmed or whey based milk. Alright, then as we start to feed them on a six feeder, it will hang on the side of the pen. Keep them on milk for six weeks, slowly increasing dry feed. In the six weeks we also take the horns off, debud de the calves, because they develop, we don't want the horns as they get older. The other jobs to do, we always have to have them tagged within, I think it's uh, four days of birth, so for ministry purposes. Each calf then gets a passport. Uh, six weeks we slowly wean them off and they go on to bigger pelleted feed. Mm -hmm.